Generally, if we have absolute value of x equals to a, and this absolute value expression is isolated in one side and equals to a non-negative number, we can go ahead and set up a compound equation, x equals to a or x equals to negative a. The first question we have 5 minus 3 times with absolute value of x minus 5 equals to 3. The first step, let's isolate the absolute value. So we're going to bring positive 5 to the right hand side. So negative 3 here times with x minus 5 equals to, so 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Then let's divide our negative 3 to both sides of our equations. You're going to get x minus 5 equals to positive 2 over 3. Step 2, is this equation possible? Meaning, our absolute value must equal to positive value or 0. In our case here, we do have a positive value on the right side of our equal sign. Step 3, set up two equations. So x minus 5 equals to 1 for positive 2 over 3 or x minus 5 equals to 1 for negative 2 over 3. So let's solve this. x equals to 17 over 3 or x equals to 13 over 3. We can always check our answer by plugging back to the original equations. Then our solution is 13 over 3 and 17 over 3. Second question, we have absolute value of 1 minus x equals to 2x minus 5. For the first step, our absolute value has been isolated. Then the second step, we need to write down two equations. 1 minus x equals to 2x minus 5 or 1 minus x equals to negative 2x minus 5. Then let's solve this. If we bring 2x to the left hand side, we're going to get negative x minus 2x. And if we bring 1 to the right hand side, we're going to get negative 1. So, negative x minus 2x is negative 3x equals 2. Negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. So, let us divide both sides of our equation with negative 3. So, we're going to get x equals to positive 2. For the second equations, let us distribute the negative into the parentheses. 1 minus x equals 2 negative 2x plus 5. So let us bring the negative 2x to the left hand side. So we're going to get negative x plus 2x equals 2. Bring 1 to the right hand side. So 5 minus 1. So this one we are going to have x equals to 5 minus 1 is 4. Okay. So we have x equals 2 and x equals to 4. For the second step, is this equation is possible? We are not sure. Is our absolute value equals to positive value or not? So we need to check our answers. So for checking solution, it is not necessary to write down because you may use your calculator instead. But I'm going to show you how to check the answers. Let's start with x equals to 2. Substitute x equals to 2 on the left hand side, we have absolute value of 1 minus x. We're going to substitute x with 
positive 2. So 1 minus 2 equals to absolute value of negative 1. And we're going to get positive 1. And on the right hand side, we have 2x minus 5. Then 2 times with 2 minus 5 is equals to negative 1. So if we can see here, our left hand side is not equals to our right hand side. So x equals to 2 is not the answer. Okay, let's check for x equals to 4. Substitute x equals to 4 into 1 minus x, we're going to get 1 minus 4. Absolute value for 1 minus 4 is absolute value of negative 3 and it is positive 3. Check for right hand side, substitute x equals to 4 into 2x minus 5, we're going to get 2 times 4 minus 5 which is positive 3. If you can see here, our left hand side is equals to right hand side and we accept x equals to 4. So back to the solution, there is only one possible answer which is 4. For the third question, we have absolute value of 2x plus 6 equals to x minus 1. So, we're going to use the definition of absolute value of a equals to set a squared to define both sides of our absolute value. So, we're going to define absolute value of 2x plus 6 as set 2x plus 6 squared equals to absolute value of x minus 1. We're going to define as set of x minus 1 squared. Let's get rid of the set by squaring both sides. Same goes on the right hand side. Okay, once we square both sides, then the set is gone. So we are left with 2x plus 6 squared equals to x minus 1 squared. So let it expand. We're going to get 4x squared plus 24x plus 36 equals to expand x minus 1 squared. We're going to get x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, let's bring all the terms on the right hand side to the left hand side. So 4x squared minus x squared is 3x squared. 24x plus 2x is 26x. And 36 minus 1 is 35. Let us factorize our quadratic equations here. 3x plus 5. 3x plus 5 multiply with x plus 7 equals to 0. So we're going to get x equals to negative 5 over 3 and x equals to negative 7. Both of our answer, if we substitute back to the question, will make it positive. Therefore, our answer is negative 7, negative 5 over 3. The final question, we have absolute value of x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals to 4. So let's set up two equations since our absolute value is already been isolated. Okay, so we're going to get x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals to 4 or x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals to negative 4. For the first equations, x squared minus 2x bring positive 4 to the left hand side. We're going to get negative 8 equals to 0. 
Then let us factorize. We're going to get x plus 2 times with x minus 4 equals to 0. Then x equals to negative 2 and x equals to 4. For the second equation, x squared minus 2 x minus 4 equals to negative 4. Let's bring negative 4 to the left hand side. We're going to get x squared minus 2 x equals to 0. Then let us factorize x times with x minus 2 equals to 0. We're going to get x equals to 0 and x equals to 2. Since our right hand side is already positive, then our solution in order is negative 2, 0, 2 and 4.